Hey guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to catch your weekly tarot readings. This week for Sagittarius and Cross Watchers, it looks like that you had somebody here that may have left you for a third party and you are very guarded and holding back from reconciling with this person. Uh, there is a lot going on here, guys. We had somebody who was bound. Someone was uh, magically bound um, to a person and um, to your two of cups because they were obsessed with sex. And I feel like this person now has the confidence to free themselves from this situation. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Sag, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs, and then I'll get into your spread, and then we'll get you some clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Sagittarius. What's the energy for Sag, please? Sag, you got the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Queen of cups could be masculine could be feminine they could be your uh emperor you could be the emperor so take it how it resonates with you so let's get into your reading of the other signs so holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity and guidance give me the energy of all 12 signs around sagittarius please if you're dealing with a sagittarius oh sagittarius if you're dealing with an aries i'm sorry if you're dealing with an aries I feel like somebody's watching something that's long-term and committed. So they got their eye on somebody who's either got a lot of money or they're watching somebody's relationship. If you're dealing with a Taurus, uh, passionate communication ends. I feel like the fighting ends if you're dealing with a Taurus. If you're dealing with a Gemini, somebody's looking at something from a different perspective. It may be having regrets, grieving, uh, missing somebody. If you're dealing with a cancer, someone's looking back at the past, the mistakes that were made, being very strategic, not showing emotion, plotting and planning because of what was in the past. If you're dealing with a Leo, something's been going on for a long time. There's been strife, jealousy, and competition for a long time. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're happy with somebody from the past. If you're dealing with a Libra, someone wants to speak a truth about a new beginning in love or speak a truth to have a new beginning in love. It could go either way. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone is very guarded and defensive about reconciling. If you're dealing with another Sagittarius, somebody's moving forward. Trying to get from rough water from rough waters to calm waters. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone's getting a victory in justice, so somebody's winning in a court case, possibly. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're very solid, stable, dependable where you're concerned. So they would be the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Wands, since you're the King of Wands, Aquarius. Um, Sagittarius. Could be a wife, could be an ex-wife. Take it out, resonates. And if you're dealing with the Pisces, Empress causing a tower moment. So the divine feminine causing a tower moment. I need to get another card on that. Why why is there a card? Why is there a tower moment with the Empress? Because of no equal give and take. There's no equal give and take here in the situation if you're dealing with Pisces. Your energy is the Queen of Cups, Emperor energy here. So using your intuition, taking control, or it could just be that you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, and you could be the Emperor here in this case. So let's get into the reading and find out what's going on for Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? The 
Okay, so you're unhappy because you're not speaking to somebody because of strife, jealousy, and competition in a third party. Someone was acting like a player, hiding it. Yeah, they were hiding. They were hiding that they were a player. It's caused you to be very guarded and defensive about reconciling. You're very up in your head, sleepless nights about the betrayal. King of Wands energy, that you, Sag. You're wanting some clarity. You're wanting some clarity here. Or you could be having an awakening. So take it how it resonates with you. There's a tower moment here. For a long time, been brokenhearted. Being strategic, not showing emotion about a new beginning. Trying to understand something from a different mindset for a passionate new beginning here. Get some clarity. Sagittarius, you're unhappy that you're not speaking to somebody. It's causing you a lot of discontent that you're not speaking. Because of a jealous third party, you're at a crossroads about speaking to somebody. Again, with that Queen of Cups energy, very discontent. You're using your intuition. Because of a jealous third party, there's a choice between two. Someone's very jealous because there's a choice between two. And this person, this third party is very strategic, not showing emotion. Someone's trying to rush in and out. They were, you're single and abundant. They may be wanting to rush towards you. Or they may have been a player. Because they're hiding something. They're hiding an ending. They're hiding something that's either ended or transformed. Very guarded and defensive, holding back from reconciling. Again, judgment is clarified by judgment. So you're, you're very guarded, so you're holding back from reconciling. You're very trapped up in your head, wanting to, wanting to know the truth. Because you... You really love this person and they betrayed you. King of Wands, broken hearted. You're broken hearted here. You're coming in as a masculine energy. You're broken hearted. You 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 saw something, you got clarity and you walked away. You got some clarity and you walked away. So you've been broken hearted for a long time and it's caused you a tower moment here. Okay, so someone may be doing magic here because you have the magician next to the Eight of Swords. That's being stuck and bound, okay? So somebody may have been trying to bind you or they may have been trying to bind your Two of Cups, magically trying to bind your Two of Cups, okay? Someone may have been trying to keep somebody stuck to them. Yeah, so because they were obsessed with sex, okay? The, somebody was trying to bind your person to them because they were obsessed with sex. Strategic about a new beginning, seeing something from a different perspective. You're very up in your head about this. Somebody rushing towards you to offer you their love. Somebody from the past. That there's deception and it's going to end so something new can begin. So coming full circle, making a decision to cut something out, looking at the past mistakes, wanting to apologize. Something long-term and committed, they need strength to work on a situation to have a new beginning. I feel like they're trying to break free from whatever that was that's trying to bind them or whoever that is that's trying to bind them to them. So um, I do see a binding there. Because somebody's obsessed with sex. They have some regrets. And now they understand it. That's why they weren't speaking. The union they have is free will. The union, to have union with you is free will. Summertime, right, it's the here and now. They may have abandoned you, okay? They may have abandoned you for a third party. But they understand free will. And they understand that they can come back into union. They understand it. They understand why they're not speaking. Confidence, freedom, friendship. 
dreams and happiness. I feel like with this person, Sagittarius, or this could be you, they have that confidence to free themselves, have that confidence to free themselves from whatever they feel trapped in. Um, they may want to start out slow with friendship and, and then open that open up their dreams and happiness with you. I feel like they may come to you wanting your friendship, but it's going to grow from there. So, guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful week.